Hey guys, it's Alex here, and today I am bringing you the 99 Tory Holt gameplay, but on top of that, I want to show y'all something. Max Mutt level, and I got 99 Mahomes. That's why I use my 99 Power Up Pass on, since that's really the only thing you can do right now, but I think it's worth it. I wanted to upgrade Kyler to 99 Mahomes, so we're going to be pairing up 99 Patrick Mahomes with 99 Tory Holt today, and see how it turns out. In a later gameplay, uh... I'll probably post later on. I'm going to do uh, 99 Clowny with 99 Pat Tillman. See how that does. But I just want to show you guys I made the upgrades I made to my team. I got one more level on Chaz. I got Terrell Suggs. I replaced uh, Philly on Mac with him. I got Jadavion Clowney, of course. 99 Pat Tillman. I got 99 Calais Campbell. I still got Everson Griffin as my backup, but it's whatever. Uh, I got Ed Oliver to a 97. DeForest Buckner still there. I got Ty Law as a backup, and I really got Mahomes on the offense, so the defense got a big upgrade, and that's why they're a 97, and the offense is still a 96, but we are a 97 overall now, so that is good, so I already opened all my packs and everything, sorry I didn't show y'all, but let's jump right into the gameplay of 99 Mahomes paired with 99 Tory Holt. Okay guys, you can see that is our top three there, and this guy's top three is not that bad. He has a 99 Dion, so which could be very scary. We actually start off on defense right here. I managed to force him to a fourth and 28, but he just ends up throwing it to Randy Moss and somehow catches it, bro. So I'm just like pissed off at this point. Then he just dies to run stretch with Bo Jackson, jukes out Pat Tillman somehow, and scores so I'm a little bit pissed off here you know at least you got Tory Holt out on the field though right so I'm gonna just start off Tory Holt with something small a little in route you know something light hopefully he can get open here he does make it a little nice diving catch here so that is good to see that he's making those type of catches we actually end up running the ball because we couldn't get anything going on second down and I realized that he was in a pretty good formation for me to run the ball and clearly I was right about this whole situation and we gained a lot of yards from it right here I'm running a sort of verticals play out of gun bunch I see Tory Holt beat his man well the man was the user and he makes a really nice diving catch it's nice to see that he's catching all those diving catches but on third and 13 right here he thought he can Throw it up to Calvin again. Well, not Calvin again, but throw it up to his receiver and catch it. But this time, Pat Tillman is there for the pick. So we get right back to offense. And we come out of this five-wide formation. This play I end up really liking. Tory Holt on a post is pretty overpowered since I have post in elite on him. Like I said, he makes literally any diving catch. So I thought I'd go right back to five-wide after using that play. Scramble out of the pocket with Mahomes and chuck it to Tory Holt, and he absolutely mosses two defenders. Like, that's a bit disrespectful. I can't even lie. He just straight up mossed two defenders. That's pretty tough. So, this guy, back on offense. I managed to get him to a fourth and 17, and he isn't getting anything going on offense. We're being honest here. And he ends up quitting because all he could really do for offense is just chuck it up. That's not going to win you games so we get right into this second game there is my team once again and this guy's team for some reason they showed a 98 first but has once again a pretty good team so I'm not facing any bums over here I'm facing pretty good people and once again we don't start on offense so I'm just telling you guys all like the defensive possession changes or like all of that type of stuff if they convert on fourth but right here he threw a fourth down pass. He didn't have complete in the pass. I'm sorry, I didn't show that full clip. But yeah, I'm an idiot. Well, not really. Uh, Tory Holt could have had a chance on it, but Patrick Mahomes overthrew him. But that's fine. This guy, once again, throws for slants. And Shaz gets an amazing pick, one handed, looking like Odell out here. I realize this guy's playing off like a sort of like a cover three, so I throw a Tory Holt out route. His route running is just amazing. He makes amazing cuts. That's what I realized from this. He isn't the most like flashy player ever, but he does a lot of good route running. His route running is really good. As you guys can see right there, makes an amazing catch with a diving catch. I'm just like, here, let's throw it off the toy hole. See if he can catch it. He did, but they called it out of bounds. And it ended up being fourth and goal because we couldn't get anything going on second and third. I actually got sacked on third, so he got sent way back. 
I'm just like, hey, let me try this little in route with Tori Holt. Double coverage. Doesn't matter. Makes another diving catch. I'm telling you guys, he makes those all the time. I force this guy into a 4th and 30 after running some blitzes. And I'm going to run one more blitz on him to get the safety. And this is actually going to end up forcing this guy to rage quit too. Unfortunately, none of these guys want to stay in the games. But that is fine with me as long as I can get some gameplay at Tori Holt. You guys could barely see his team right there. Sorry, I didn't get too well of a clip of that. But you guys saw my team once again. I think he had like 98 clowny. I don't know. Something like that. But yeah, once again, I told you guys I love this new play. The Tory Holt 5 wide and Tory Holt's put on like a post. I think it's like called like high, low something. I don't know exactly what it is. But yeah, I like the play a lot. And here, I'm just trying to see what Tory Holt can do. Honestly, I'm in chuck mode. And... He gets a lucky pick, let's be honest. I wanted to see if Tory Hill could make a one-on-one -on -one catch. It's a post, so he has post to Lee. I wanted to see if he could make it. He gets a nice little slant route with Tyreek here, but doesn't matter. We get a hit stick with Pat Tillman, and if you guys want that Pat Tillman gameplay, make sure to hit that like button. This is only a little bit of what Pat Tillman can do. He's really good, 99 version. Once again, I see this guy is playing sort of like... Not up against Tory Hole, and he's running like a cover three sitting back. So I've decided to run some out routes. You know, here, I'm just like looking at Tory Hill the whole time, and I'm going to be completely honest. I didn't even look at Tyreek when I threw it. I just assumed since Tory Holt wasn't open, Tyreek was going to be open. So I didn't even look at it until I passed the ball. So me being an idiot, I just passed it. But it's fine because that defense has clamps. Even though he almost completes that pass there, he doesn't because Luke Keekly jars it loose and we get the ball right back. So, right here, I'm just in chuck mode at this point, y'all. I want to see what he can do. I've had two games to where, you know, he's made some pretty decent plays, but once again, Patrick Mahomes overthrew him. Patrick Mahomes isn't having that great of a game, to be completely honest, but I might still be holding R2 when I'm throwing it. I put Roman Dead Eye instead of. Okay. We, we just got to acknowledge that user and. And on top of that, that pick by Minka, that's a really nice pick. But once again, I told you all, I love this play, bro. It's, like, always open. I kind of probably could have racked that and see what I could have done because I put a grab-and-go on him. It's basically human joystick once you catch the ball. I see this guy's pressing. I'm just like, what the heck are you doing, bro? Tory Hill has 99 speed on my team. Guessing easy. I swear Tory Holt loves to die, bro. He loves to die for those catches, like... Half of these catches, I swear, he's been diving for, except the out routes. Right here, he's trying to run the ball. This guy literally played like a boomer. There's no other way to describe it. He was so boring to play against. We get a nice little strip fumble recovered by Clowney. And, yeah, so Tory Hall has this X-Factor now and just completely mosses the defender. Just completely mosses him. We really couldn't get anything going on first down, so I just high point it to Tory Hold on second down. Nobody was even on him since he decided to run a cover two. This guy gets a late half drive and gets in the end zone. So, I mean, he makes it a little closer before half, but he does get the ball at half as well. So, that isn't good. And, you know what? Like I said, this guy plays like a boomer. He just loves to run the ball, even in house rules. Doesn't like to have any fun. Just run, 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 run. It's annoying to play against, but, I mean... If it works, it works, whatever. But he plays like a boomer. You can't change my mind. But, so, yeah. Like I said, I'm in chuck mode at this point. Third and 33. I'm not making the best of reads right here. It's not looking too good. We down by 11. But, hopefully we can get some stops here because that's literally what we need. And that's exactly what we need. A user lurk by Luke Keekly. He's been hitting that tight, uh, not tight end, but halfback angle route the whole entire game. So, I'm just like... He's probably going to go there again because he did it the last play before that, but he didn't actually hit it. Here, I see once again, not really playing up. That was a bit of a risky pass. I don't know who 21 was, but he could have definitely picked that off. That was a bit of a risky pass, like I said. And here, I th thought he was going to run a cover too, so I just put Tory Holt on a corner route, and he absolutely bags two defenders. Like... This is what I'm talking about, bro. You can just aggressive catch with him, and most of the time it won't even be like a pick or anything. But me being the dumbass I am, trying to force it to Tory Holt, gets another pick. So that's fine, though, because he goes for it on 4th and 10 and doesn't get it. Sent a little bit of a blitz at him just because. And right here, sent Tory Holt on a little bit of a streak. 
but we're not going to him. He's too focused on him. So we get Saquon to get a block, and Patrick Mahomes ends up getting the end zone. Pretty nice run by him, you know. I've been liking this Patrick Mahomes. Whenever I remember to use roaming, that I literally every single pass is on point. No, his throw power is amazing. But we had to get a stop here because it's fourth quarter, and he was trying to chew clock, bro. That's what I'm talking about. He's acting like a boomer. He pretends like he's going to go cover Torrey Holt, but then he goes off of him, and he's wide open because for some reason he wants to press somebody with 99 speed because he's real smart. He tries to drive down the field. I ran cover three-man deep because I know here he has to go for that end zone, and he doesn't end up getting it, y'all. So, yeah, one more, one more for the and you see what I mean with that so I mean he ends up quitting after this guys so I mean Tory Holt literally made three people quit if that's not good enough I don't know what it is so yeah okay guys that was the Tory Holt gameplay I hope you guys enjoyed that video this Tory Holt is pretty good I can't even lie especially with all these abilities on him his route running and catching is really good he makes literally every single catch pretty much that doesn't isn't in like double or triple coverage so I mean that's pretty good <laughs> y'all you all saw what happened in the last game that was pretty OP with everything but like I said if you guys wanna see a full Pat Tillman and Jadavion Clowney gameplay along with a 99 Calais Campbell that I just added got make sure you guys smash the like button because I only saw you uh, showed you guys glimpses of what they can do in this game and they can do a lot more. So if you guys want to see a full gameplay on those guys, make sure you smash the like button. And as always, thank you guys for watching and peace out.